And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. And here is a look at the forecast high temperatures for our day today. We are going to be climbing into the low to mid 40s out there, so we're finally going to be above freezing as we head into the afternoon. For many of us, it's the first time above freezing since Saturday night, and for DP Texas, the first time above freezing since Sunday night. Now, in terms of the morning low temperatures here over the next seven days, we're going to see another uh, wave of Arctic air move in as we head into the weekend. So it's not over just quite yet here, even though we are starting to thaw out today. It's going to turn a lot colder this weekend again, but it's not going to get as cold as what we just saw. We'll drop down to about 19 degrees for your Saturday morning and then we'll slowly warm back up heading into uh, the next work week after that. Now the good news here, even as we see that secondary Arctic blast move on in, we should be able to warm above freezing each afternoon, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And you can see that here with the next seven days, the forecast high temperatures. Now the normal high is 58 degrees. We'll be trying to climb there by the day on Thursday, but then by Friday, Saturday and Sunday, that's when we get our next wave of Arctic air moving on in. But as you can see, air temperatures stay above freezing, but it's still going to be chilly each afternoon through the weekend. And then as we head into Monday and Tuesday of next week, that's when we'll start to warm things right back up and we'll see those highs right around 60 on Tuesday. Looking farther ahead with the six to 10 day temperature outlook valid from Monday, January 22nd through uh, Friday, uh, January 26th, we're going to start to favor above average temperatures across the area. So if you're sick and tired of this cold weather, we are going to get a little bit warmer as we head into next week. We just have to wait uh, until then and then no more arc blast here uh, heading into the next work week and uh, beyond. Now as we take a look at your monthly rainfall totals for January, we have a deficit in Tyler and Longview and a surplus in Lufkin. So we're good in Lufkin and Tyler and Longview. I do think I am confident that we will make up that deficit and then some as we head into next week. In fact, looking ahead with the six to 10 day precipitation outlook valid between the same dates, Monday, January 22nd through Friday, January 26th, we are going to see above average rainfall chances and a pretty a high likelihood of seeing those above average rainfall chances next week. A nearly 80% chance of seeing above average rain chances for the next work week. So that's some good news. We still have a drought out in deep east Texas, so uh, any progress is good progress here and I think we'll make some good progress heading into next week. To recap the forecast for today though, we'll see sunshine along with some passing clouds. High temperatures climbing into the lower 40s out there. South wind picking up throughout the afternoon. For tonight, we'll drop down to 33 degrees around Around midnight or so after that will actually warm things up thanks to the strength of the south wind and we're going to be in the upper 30s by sunrise on our Thursday. Your seven day forecast looks like this. We are going to warm things up through the day on Thursday. Thursday's highest in the middle 50s out there. We're going to see a cool down though for the weekend as a secondary Arctic air mass moves on in. But again, it's not as cold as what we've seen this week. We're going to see those highs only in the upper 30s to low 40s through Sunday, but showers do return Sunday night and last through Monday, much of Monday night, much of Tuesday and much of Tuesday night as well. So it's going to get into a more wet and warmer weather pattern heading into next week. For deep east Texas, it's more of the same. Look for those highs in the 60s potentially by the day tomorrow, but then we turn colder for the weekend. We'll see some showers returning Sunday night into Monday and rain will continue to be likely Monday, Monday night, Tuesday and Tuesday night as well.